two things from our friend Craig, the Obamacare lawyer. Number one, not only does health and human services math, well, the question is how many how many more people are insured because of Obamacare, or how many fewer are uninsured. Uh, so not only does HHS's math show that we might have as few as 2.3 million actually in the exchanges, paid up and enrolled, actually it might be 2.3 million not even a, a fraction of the disappointing 8 million. But anyway, uh, but a really pathetic element in that story, which Craig is working on, he'll post tomorrow and we'll get to that. In the last three months, three different government agencies have listed three different uninsured numbers. You have to laugh to keep from crying. Number one, the Census Bureau, which is probably the most reliable. And by the way, if you don't know Craig, he does this for a living. He advises company companies on um, benefits uh, how law affects benefits, and how to keep from losing your shirt. So he's not a politician. He is a coldly practical guy in terms of this industry. The Census Bureau numbers, which he says are probably the most reliable, say there are 1.3 million people more uninsured than before the ACA. Wow. The CDC says there are 3.8 million fewer uninsured. And Health and Human Services says there are 10.3 million fewer uninsured. Three branches of the federal government, all within the last three months, ranging from 1.3 more million more uninsured to 10.3 fewer. So, like uninsured. almost a $12 million discrepancy. 12 with, million person, yeah. Person. They have no idea. And we're supposed to believe that there are 8 million in Obamacare, he writes. And then this one, this is... Uh, How can the, they not have that number nailed down? I don't know. I don't know. There is there is strenuous spinning going on. Um, and, I, and, and if you pick a number out of several, it's the lies, damn lies, and statistics principle, you can portray it as, as an apple when it's an orange. Or, or a negative apple. <laughs> to combine Newton and Einstein. Uh, Let's see. California passed a new law last week. This is priceless. Now, when benefits guys and lawyers, because Craig's one of those, conduct our sexual harassment prevention training, we must also now, by law, add training on abusive conduct. Isn't that great? Here's how the legislature defined abusive conduct. You know what? We've got a choice. We can either run... Three, four, five minutes late, or take a quick break. We got to take a break. This is hilarious. You're not going to believe it. This is on. This is a, s- sexual harassment. Well, it's been added to sexual Slay harassment. It's man. abusive conduct, you stupid moron. So stay tuned, or I'll punch you in the mouth. So there's a new thing. Yes. So there, there used to be sexual harassment, hostile work environment. Now there's abusive conduct. Yes, ugly. That's correct. Wow, I need to find out what abusive conduct is. <laughs> well, if you're smart enough to figure it out, you're not, you jackass. Uh, we'll talk about it next. Ugly. You're listening to The Armstrong and Getty Show.